so uh, it's 2019 and things changed and so I'm doing another saddle pad collection. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details but I sold all my dressage saddle pads. Um, I've realised that uh, if I will ever get a horse again uh, I won't have the money for owning two types, two side saddles. So I'm gonna have to go with a jump saddle because I can do dressage in a jump saddle, but I can't jump in a dressage saddle. So um, yeah, um, so I sold all my dressage saddle pads, uh, and then I've. Um, sold some of my jumping saddle pads and bought some new ones uh, purely because I feel like collecting saddle pads makes me happy um, don't know if that means I've got a problem uh, might mean I have a problem um, but I don't care uh, so the first saddle pad that I'm going to show you is just this plain white one. Uh, this is from a uh, horse, equestrian, that's upside down, uh, and it's got like a navy binding. Uh, I basically just, uh, I had a part loan horse and he was like they promised me to a certain degree that I could do like jumping with him and stuff and I basically bought this uh, for that and just for like if I got, were able to go to a show um, but that didn't happen because he was sold so but anyways that's why I bought this and I really like this it's plain it's simple and if you have a white horse which I have tried now uh, then the navy uh, binding uh, will sort of break up the grey horse with the white pad and the horse won't look so dirty. My next one is an old charmer. <laughs> You've seen this before if you watched my uh, saddle pack collection earlier. Uh, this is from Shakamo and that's up that side again, down again. <laughs> so it looks like this. It's an all-purpose one with blue binding and a white binding and a red piping. Um, this is like, it's not one of my favourites, it's okay. I don't know why, but it's like really hard to make me satisfied when it comes to red, white and blue. I don't know why. Um, but I'm keeping it just so, because it's like festive and stuff. If I were to be picky, I would like this red to be outside and then just a white piping and then nothing. But you can't always get what you want. So Next is my A3 Polo pads. Uh, this turquoise one with like a bluish binding and white piping. It looks like this. And I realised I forgot to talk about how they look on the inside. Basically the horse one is just plain cotton and the Shokumo one has a waffle wheel. So they, you know that and this one has a breathable fabric. So yeah, that's my HV Polo one. I also have another H.P. Polo one, um, looks like this. I've shown this off before. Um, there used to be like some writing here on it and I just unpicked the embroidery because I thought it was ugly. So now it's just this logo. As you can see the binding is polka dot and the piping is like white and black says HV Polo upside down. I'm just going to show you all of them upside down. <laughs> and uh, 
actually inside is braidable fabric. I don't know if you can see that. There's some outside. So, but yeah. Uh, next one is from uh, Hux, which is a Scandinavian uh, chain. Um, it's from Sweden, first of but they have Hux in Denmark and Norway and I think Finland as well. So, and um, this is from Fairfield, which is their brand. It's light blue, baby blue. It comes off very strong blue on camera, but it's not. And it's got white piping and a navy binding. The embroidery looks like this. And this is just plain cotton on the inside. I think it's really cute. Really like this like baby blue navy combination. Uh, I would have bought it in the opposite one as well, but I'm not made of money. Also, they're really cheap, so that was kind of like redundant. Um, next one is uh, one that I bought uh, when I went to Gothenburg Horschel. I went to my favorite Polish store, which have insanely cheap saddle pads. And if I was smart, I would have bought more because they have like a really gorgeous one uh, in black, but I'm stupid, so I didn't buy it. Uh, so this green all round saddle pad, it looks lighter green on camera than it looks in real life. The piping is silver and green and then the binding is green and I think it's really gorgeous. Um, it's just black cotton on the in on side and yeah I really love it and I wish I had more from them even if it is and yeah also the price was like 250 Swedish krona which is like 200 and 20 Norwegian at the time, I think. 218, I can't remember. Which is almost nothing for a saddle pad. Uh, next one is this from Cartago. Uh, you might recognize this. I used to have an exact same saddle pad in dressage, and I love it so much that when I sold my dressage saddle pads, I bought this one in <laughs> the all around jumping one. Um, so it's just plain. Um, it's got this fancy stitching thing on it, and the, it's black and teal, and then there's got the black piping and a black teal and silver piping. This is insanely breathable. I don't know if you can see on the fabric, but yeah, it's almost like the same fabric on the inside and the outside. Very breathable. And also sort of, um, it feels like you can wipe stuff off it. It's sort of not um, water resistant or anything, but it has this kind of quality to it. So it feels like that. Um, uh, this next one is also from Cartago. I bought this when I had the border. It's in red. It's exact same as the previous one, but in red. It's got... Uh, red white binding and a red piping and then a red white and silver bind piping um, and the same stitching it's called Cartago Diamonds this is an extremely good saddle pad it's um, very breathable as I said before and this is like red on the underside um, I thought this would look gorgeous on the Buddha sadly the Buddha would not um, be a competition horse and she has a very nice life now uh, so yeah next is my saddle pads from uh, Matthes um, I, I've always known about Matthes but I didn't know that you can custom make saddle pads and I found that out by watching some Australian YouTubers and so I checked it out and Matthes doesn't send to Norway big minus in my book but yeah 
so I actually found an Australian website that sent them to me and would you know it, the Australian website shipping this to Norway took less time than having something shipped from Sweden, which is our neighbour country, so as you can imagine. Uh, so the first one of the ones I ordered or made looks like this. It's a green saddle pad and it has just a navy binding and a pink piping. Um, the lighting makes the piping look slightly um, lighter pink than it is in the real life. Um, I wanted it to be even more light pink, um, but it's not that easy when you uh, look online. Uh, the fabric on the side is soft and sort of velvety almost. Um, I don't know what kind of like, if it's breathable or not. I haven't found out that yet, but I'm really happy with the sun pads anyway. So uh, I recommend ordering from Mattis. Um, then my last cell pad is another from Mattis. It's this green one. Again, I love green, as you can tell. Uh, the piping is turquoise, petrol and royal blue. And I thought it was kind of a cool combination. It's harder to tell the difference between petrol and turquoise than I thought. Um, as again, uh, you have to choose the colours of like this picture online. Uh, so it looked like more of a difference but it doesn't matter. It's beautiful anyway and uh, it's got the same lining in grey. So that was my last saddle pad. Um, I hope you enjoyed my collection. Um, I really really would like to buy some saddle pads from the Swedish brand Equito. Um, but um, every time I'm going to order one uh, they're sold out. So hopefully if they get their stock up again I can get some. Um, it all depends on whether or not they get the stock up basically because I wanted to get a green one with uh, bronze details sold out. I wanted to get a green one with gold details sold out. I wanted to get a black one with gold details sold out. So yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.